Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how to do uh, CBO automation rules. So um, CBO is uh, in one of the previous videos I showed you how to do like CBO for cold acquisition, I showed you how to do like retargeting with CBO. Now I want to show you how to do like automation rules with CBO. I'll show you some of the examples that you can utilize, implement for your own business. So this is all based on you know experimenting. We've made a lot of mistakes and I want to show you what you can do guys uh, to basically take and uh, make the most out of like CBOs right now. Four of them would mostly apply uh, to, to the ad set, right? To the active ad sets that you have. And uh, pretty much like, so I, would have, I was having a conversation with Facebook rep and he said that it's okay to turn off ad sets inside of CBO. So basically it means that, you know, if you have, um, you know, if you have ad sets running inside of CBO and some of them um, are not performing well, which is very naturally that some of them will not, um, you know, perform like ideally, then you can just turn them off. And for that, you can use automation rules, which will save you a lot of time and basically having, having to think about it, having to monitor it, right? So uh, the first rule that you can apply is basically pause ad sets if they're like zero purchases. So I'll show you the example here. Uh, as you can see, uh, for example, if we take this campaign, right? Or like, for example, if we just take, if we just go like to the ad set level, right? And uh, as you can see all like, all kind of like different ad sets here. So if you click um, rule and create a new rule, uh, basically, this will apply to all um, active ad sets, right? So, for example, turn off ad sets, right? Uh, if, for example, uh, we can find like a purchase here, let's say purchases is smaller than one, right? And, for example, the spend is let's say spend is greater than, let's say, I don't know, like $20, right? In the last, let's say three days, right? Something like this. So depending on your KPIs, obviously, right? And then you call this, um, for example, stop loss, right? And basically you just set it up. Uh, you have the reminders here. So it's kind of like you need to find that like sweet spot at, at which you turn off these uh, ad sets, but having something like this will help you kind of like to cut your losses and uh, to basically not spend as much on, on, on useless uh, testing, right? So another way you can structure it, basically, if you're mostly kind of like optimizing for return on ad spend here, let's say if like turn off ad sets, right? As you can see, for example, if ROAS, right? Website purchase ROAS is less than, let's say smaller than like 1.5, right? So in this case, in this case, basically anything that has below than like 1.5 ROAS in the last uh, three days and spend more than 20 bucks will be turned off, right? So it's kind of like another combination that you can do uh, to, to kind of like find that sweet spot where, okay, so if, it, if it's not profitable, I'll just, you know, I'll just shut it down, right? So these are two, two ways. I, one, if you can, you can do basically by your uh, cost per purchase, by your CPA, and another one is you can do by your ROAS, right? So this is one variation. Now, basically if, um, so um, yeah, so I should do like if CPA is greater than, okay, so uh, yeah, I showed you like this one. Um, if asset has like zero purchases. Another one, if basically is CPA is, uh, for example, greater than, let's say spend 20, more than $20. And at the same time, uh, the purchase, like cost per purchase, cost per purchase, right, is greater than, I don't know, let's say $10 just for illustration purposes. Right, so um, this this thing uh, here, um, I'm not necessarily like um, I think like eight thousand impressions, not necessarily what it takes. Uh, sometimes you know Facebook starts to optimize earlier, so sometimes like five hundred impressions is enough for Facebook to judge about the performance. So I would just remove this one, as you can see, they're recommended, but um, you know it's kind of uh, you know something that we've tested, and it's not necessarily eight thousand impressions that like lets you evaluate the performance of the asset. Sometimes it can be much earlier. And again, again here, like three days, um, that should be enough. Sometimes you can, you can adjust basically on based on your like sales cycle. If you're selling something emotional and you know, like if someone, 
is seeing your product and they're pretty much like likely to buy it. It's like emotional purchase, not in, not expensive. So it could be just like, for example, today, right? If today is not profitable, if cost per purchase is more than $10, that's it, right? You just cut it, cut it off, right? So this is another um, set it and um, basically this one you can spend, uh, you, can, you can call, for example, CPA above 10, kill, right? 10 kill. Right, so this is how you can call it. You just uh, click create it. So this will apply to all uh, active assets and this will turn off assets that will basically are not falling into this um, category. Now, another one is basically restart assets at 12 a.m. Now, the reason that is important is because guys, sometimes, um, you know, like assets might not like perform um, like well, right, um, on certain day. And then like next day, where when like 12, 12 a.m. is basically like reset of the whole like algorithm happens, sometimes it just like will restart and will hit another bucket of people inside of that audience that you target and it will be profitable, right? And in this case, what it can do is basically turn on ad sets, right? That for example, have been profitable in the last, let's say like a week, right? Let's say we know that like uh, return on ad spend is greater than let's say two, um, right? The last like seven days. So in that case, you can just like turn them on. Right. And then you can basically like um, here you can see you can set up the um, like timeline where it's basically happening. Right. So this is something that uh, you can do uh, to, you know, to set it up like in a way where it's like if it's um, if it's profitable, uh, if it was profitable, maybe just like stop performing for like a day, then you just turn it back and see if it performs. Right. And then again, once it's running, then it will fall under the category of um, another rule, which we've set up, for example, if it's not profitable today, then it shut down, right? So it's kind of like you have to find that balance between like these rules. So at the same time, like if you're having few of them running at the same time, that's like one rule does not um, exclude another rule, right? And basically you have to find that sweet spot. So at the beginning with smaller budgets, I highly recommend you do it like manually. You kind of like get your hands on it and um, like use, use a lot of like kind of like your own observation and intuition and basically just reading numbers, analyzing numbers. And then once it happens, then you can just, um, you know, utilize more of the um, you know, once you have like better understanding, you just use more of the automation and kind of like, because you know how your ads typically behaving, um, your CPAs and, um, basically your main numbers that you are optimizing by, right? So that was the, uh, third one, right? Then a uh, number four is basically unpause an uh, ad set. If CPA is, um, CPA less than, uh, you know, a certain number, right? Again, turn on ad sets. As you can see here, let's say, um, let's say like ROAS again was, uh, let's say greater than like two, right? Uh, let's say yesterday, right? Basically asset has, you know, has, um, you know, like recovered or, or sometimes for example, you just you just like shut it down something and uh, then with you know facebook attribution it's kind of like the performance just catches up right so what you want to do is let's say um you can do like last seven days let's say you've you've turned something off and then it's you know suddenly stopped started to you know convert um and then you know basically you have something that's actually was working but now it's turned off so you have to turn it back on so this rule is basically designed for that so let's say something that has ROAS basically a more than two in the last seven days so we would call this one reactivate reactivate if ROAS more than two in the last seven days right so it's kind of like now you know like this this rule and you can make it continuously or you can make it daily right so um i mean you can just make it like 
you can make it like continuously, right? So it's anytime it, it finds that rule, it just activates those ad sets. So, so guys, these are the rules that you can apply in the ad set level. Now, and because CBOs are structured, you know, a bit differently, you can apply certain rules um, on a CBO level. So for example, budgets are set up on, um, on the level of campaigns. So then for this one here, uh, increase budget if uh, CPA is um, less than certain amount, right? Um, like this one in particular, guys, is this tricky with CBO because you cannot actually use, um, like, for example, you cannot edit budgets, like you cannot set up like automated rule to increase the budget like manually with CBO. So you would have to do it manually, right? So this is not actually like automated rule, but um, you can you can adjust like those things that we have, we have uh, mentioned for the asset level that should give you like everything that you need and uh, with budgets on CBO that would mostly apply for example if you need uh, like uh, if your frequency is too low and you know that you can just exhaust more of that kind of like give more impressions for that audience in that scenario you just go here and change it for example to like $1600 right then you click like um, published and that would that would allow you to to create this whole uh, this whole campaign. So the automated rules that you can use um, and um, yeah, basically, I mean, the, the most important ones would be like this, right? Like first, like two, three, like if you just like cut losses, I mean, this is like massive, you know, like you will increase your return on ad spend, you will increase your profitability. So these like by themselves are just pausing these losing ad sets quickly, you know, learning from the data that you're accumulating and adjusting. This by itself will be huge, huge time saver, huge uh, profitability booster for you guys. So uh, this is it guys for this video and uh, thank you for watching. Please comment below if you have any questions and also uh, please subscribe to my channel so you see all of the uh, newest videos, newest strategies, basically what's working right now. Uh, we have amazing interviews, we have amazing content for you guys. So please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram as well.